Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. And today's video, we are back here in the GT Spec series at Maple Valley. Uh, after getting my butt kicked all day um, in private lobbies, I am, well, I did decide to go ahead and qualify. Um, last second, this guy beat me out. Uh, Octavio's in here, shout out to Octavio, uh, that's, I mean, he's gonna win, so, uh, we can go ahead and just assume that that's what's gonna happen. Um, we're in the Viper for this one, the tune is from the spreadsheet, the design you guys already know, paint god, um, so, yeah, I guess let's hop in here and see how we do. Alright, here we are. Uh, real quick, while I have you guys, if you're new around here, you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll leave it a like. Alright, I just realized I haven't said anything. Uh, normally that's the case on the first lap, just because I'm trying really hard to focus on, you know, avoiding contact and trying to, uh, in this case, hold my position. Usually it's, you know, when I don't qualify, it's trying to uh, make up positions and not get killed. Um, Anyway, catch up here to these two who are having a good battle. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try to get involved here. should be a fun battle. The three of us have started to pull a gap to uh, the guys behind. This crossbow is pretty aggressive. That was quite the dive bomb there on Octavio. Yeah, there you go. Octavio is returning the favor. That's going to open the door up for us. I don't know how long we'll be able to stay ahead of the KTM. He is moving around here right now. But uh, we will give it our best shot to hold him off for now. I am very surprised that we have kept up with Octavio to this point. I know he is much quicker than me. Almost messed that up. really bad. Alright, Octavia is just out of slipstream range, but I think we have a little bit better handling than he does, and around here that's definitely more important than uh, top end. So 
starting to pull away from the uh, KTM just a tiny bit. The tire wear around here is insane, so we're going to have to see kind of what the strategy is, what Octavio is thinking. It said mediums is a two-stop, hards is a one-stop, and uh, softs was a three-stop, so that was a weird order to say that in, but you guys get what I'm saying. guess is Octavio is going to pit at the end of lap 6 on these mediums and then do uh, 5 on mediums to end the race, but lap 6 on mediums, at least for me, is going to be brutal. That section we're faster than the KTM that's where we're gaining a tenth or two you know on these laps unsurprisingly Octavio is pulling away here yeah see there's minor tire wear before the end of the fourth lap. So even the end of this lap is gonna be pretty rough. The KCM should be gaining on us, honestly. He has much better tire wear than we do. Yeah, there he goes. He's starting to reel in those tents a little bit. Oh, wow. We pulled it up to a second through that corner. That's, uh, nice. I uh, see there's moderate tire wear, which definitely is affecting our handling a lot. See, Octavio is going to go another lap on the mediums right now. I'm going to come in and hope that our uh, next lap, or our next, our last lap, if I can get my thoughts together, hope that our last lap isn't so slow on severe tire wear that, uh, you know we wind up losing out. I guess we could pit, we could try a two-stop and pit at the uh, end of the fourth, uh, well, I guess, what, lap nine? And switch to softs and see how we do. Let's see how much time we can make up on this lap with the all those worn tires. The only problem with doing a two stop is the pit lane here is super long.
let's see where we... Alright, we did come out of, uh, in front of Octavio. Our tires are warm, so I'm hoping that, at least for this lap, uh, that we can build up that gap more. sector there did get two of those tents back. Alright, up here into first. through there. Actually running a pretty solid race here. I'm just worried about the last lap right now since we went for the undercut. I do think that if I were to pit here at the end of this lap, uh, well, yeah, so it'd be 9, 10, and 11 that I would be on the softs. And, I mean, the difference in time is pretty big. I think we would still podium. I'll go one more, though. And we'll see how the tires look at the end of lap uh, 9 here. Oof, no wonder this guy's struggling. He picked the uh, Lexus at Maple Valley. That is not recommended for sure. Octavio to gain a few tenths there. Probably through that corner as well. That wasn't a very good section compared to how we've been taking it. Turn in, please. See, this is why I'm thinking for laps 10 and 11, we switch over to softs, because... These tires are going to be completely cooked. I just, I don't know, because I think we're going to come out in, I don't know, definitely uh, outside of the podium, but we might be faster enough on the softs to get back onto a podium, because we, I think, third place was 16, or I was 16 seconds ahead of fourth place. So there's fourth, there's fifth. 
So only a couple of positions lost. And since we're on softs now, um, like I said, we should be able to make up some of these positions pretty easily. Especially on the next lap. Alright, there's one. There's fourth and fifth, just right there. Should be pretty easy to catch them. sketchy, but thankfully we made it stick. Ooh, fourth dish went off. We're, I don't think we're gonna gain 11 seconds on flowing, unfortunately. I think the two-stop is gonna bite us on that. I mean, we'll see. Maybe his tires are completely cooked and we'll catch up quickly, but if he went hard, hard, or if he, yeah, if he started on hards and then made a one stop, then uh, he might be okay. Mediums, though, his tires should be really cooked. Yeah, I think he's just a little bit too far ahead, so we are going to miss out on a podium, but, you know... That's only falling back one position, and we made a whole extra pit stop. I just don't think that we could have uh, kept up and done a good enough job on that fifth and sixth lap on the uh, second set of mediums there. So, opted to make the second stop. Hopefully, we got fastest lap. That would be cool. Uh, yep, just beating out Octavio for the fastest lap by a couple of tenths there. Uh, GG to Flow and Water for making uh, whatever strategy he was on work. Uh, the crossbow I expected to do well since the tire wear is, uh, you know, lower than most of these cars. Uh, and Octavio, I mean, I called it. I said he was going to win before the race even started and look what happened shocker anyway um you know still fairly happy with the result i would have liked to get a podium but i just don't think we could have done it with that tire wear but uh yeah anyway guys if you enjoyed that video i hope you'll leave it a like if you're new around here you haven't already i hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to catch y'all in the next one.